Magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm 
Geralt, a Witcher. Barna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why well, dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates and learn me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her dad, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it doesn't. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Yalmer challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Yalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included, if I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a fate, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak, Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Shall we put some coin on it, Lugos? Actually, dog shade idea. You never care.
one, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witch or sparrowhawk. That didn't likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. You know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Beat the bastard down. If you don't, I fucking will. in spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking, it's what men do. Give me your paw, witcher. Let me squeeze. That's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. <laughs> Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. Tabran! Yennefer and I'd be honored. 
Here's to your health. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. Where'd you hear that? What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right, nightingales croon. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Alive, Yen, watch out. Monsters. I can feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. Oh, that's one less. Ah! Strange. Smells of 
mushroom was in here. To my mind, it's the same. You ran at Ermion's animals. Sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's Lebox. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a lock. A letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids warns them of the high wondrous home. world of insects. Didn't expect this. A large Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow. A biography in hearts. Child skull. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. What do you say we give it a pine cone? How about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. Need something else. Gotta look around. Goes in for light reading, too. The corpse of no regret by Sasha Hardy. Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. This is it! We've got it! We must return to the feast quickly before...
Blade's still closed. Gotta think of something quick. The damned druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. Successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. With no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skelliger step forth. not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man a woman Win! What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control, no telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Ciri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. 
Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald, tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. Well, as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? I think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of clan Tordorach here and Artsgelig. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. (laughs) 
wonder if he's as strong as he looks. I have no clue what to give her. Maybe a nice little axe. We shan't see him again. Mm. Why uh -oh. are you talking like that? Went down to the river. Greetings. Greetings. Mind if I have? they well. I recognize your type a mile away. Vagrant. Uh-oh. Oh, you hear something in the woods? Like Could a it be of a deer? Only louder. Now run back to the village at once. Why is that, Granda? Well, you're allowed to the dogs then. Take it easy.
Yes. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orboros made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. summoned them. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? Do it whenever you want, anyway. No harm in it, then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. Yes? Put on the mask. We don't have time. Geralt. 
What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the Echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Ciri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Ciri can take care of herself. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Ready? Use the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Just so happens I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else! Everything else be damned, is that it? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Why? 
It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Ciri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Ciri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindusfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders sent the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last in the school. But if I remember correctly, Lord, you should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. And what if Craven Barely told the truth? Sprouted whiskers. What if he didn't the grind abandon us? Please, me, son of of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before, before it all. She was in the stables. Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvarg. Morkvarg? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? 
You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Uh-oh. Yes? Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? My, my. That must be... One morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again. doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a. Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Hmm. Better. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trail's clear. Should lead me to him. 
white prints. Craven trod carefully. easily.
bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. My mouth burned. Like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs of those plowing heroes. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. The moral is... You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters! 
force. Free me, or I'll return to get you again! The curse uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Undo, undo the curse. Free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash. I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns in my throat, throat, like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll re return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! This shite again! Farewell. See you soon. Once you find Craven.
Spark broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Putrefaction set in, but the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex, but I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. Siri, ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise. They cursed me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak.
love us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? <laughs> Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake, and I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Help... Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. What? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl... You was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. Shan't force you to stay, but the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes, from very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Oh. Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, he wouldn't like that. Trust me. All right, in you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? Not a bruise. This? No, it's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? It's a souvenir. Of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off. But the cruel sea swallowed him. <laughs> Close. Eh, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the cones. Say, back home, have you got saunas too?
You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Yes, my ship. We set sail from Novigrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skjall's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skjall? To be honest, I prefer women. Aye. Now we see. The scald sings true. Love bears many guises. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child. Skjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I'm sorry, but I really must go. Thank you once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. Go to your mom. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I. I hope. My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? I'm sorry, but I can't bring myself to chat right now. Right. Besides, it's not important. I'll take Njord. You can write Grey back. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. Thank you. 
What? What was that? The wild hunt. Right, my lord. The world's end. No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. I don't know how to thank you. You can thank me once we get there safe. Let's ride. of that creature. Where is he? What? I saw him and stood on. But he sold him. To whom? No. No. Be gone. It's 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 ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We've every right to be furious. Furious! And you! You will pay for this.
we had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger. And none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. Didn't learn much, though. Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen either. Leaves Novigrad, world's biggest city. No one said it would be easy. Better to have some idea where to look than none. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it, safe and sound. That I promise you. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen. Local ruler, a baron, keeps him in his castle. Told me he won him in a card game in Novigrad. You must go and get the creature. I don't know. Buy him, kidnap him. Won't be necessary. Baron owes me a favor, a big one. Seems early to me. What would I do with him, cart him around while I searched for Siri and hunted monsters? He's safe where he is, with the Baron. At least I think so. I'll get him once I know why Siri went to Novigrad, what she did there. Still a chance I might find her there. All right. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Now, tell me. Do you... No, never mind. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. to keep me coming. Never know what might come at you deep in a dark forest. Ugh, witches. I see you're inclined to respond to the call of the wild. Fine. In that case, meet me at Larvik. You think someone may wish to hurt me? Think I should warn off anyone who'd be dumb enough to try. Ugh, witches. I see you're inclined to respond to the call of the wild. Fine. In that case, meet me at Larvik. Oh, oh,
Thank you to... I was provoked. Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Faripsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he penned in the Emperor's library. Faripsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his gin. All right. So what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this gin. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Everything already. I have. 
How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? You've no you respect for our customers. Man. Not you, nor that witch. Geralt, yeah. over here. Come, the landing's not far. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. And a lion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. I'm gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. About you mocking my every mistake. Care for what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh at their amusing. There's something here on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. 
Asad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? ship. Come back up. Take us. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house? In a palace? In a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Have we moved on to the talking fish? It doesn't much matter. We both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. Here, another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Really old. 
must have fell off the wrecked longship. Can you open it? Hoping for pirate treasure. I hope to find the gin. Try to open it. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You would be my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. I shall cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichter Ilivaid. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the road. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichter Ilivaid. found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three. You said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. 
You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another, or if we'll be like two strangers. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it into- Nothing here. exactly like the etching in the book, except his head was intact there. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rif kaishta en gaya. Kaishta et disclair. Givered lig hassel. We 
weaken him while I draw him into the sphere. Care to trade places? No! Sid, you look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> No comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhind suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, I never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Expected. I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought you'd become a stranger to me, that I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. What was that? It 
can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was, in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. What's next? Got any plans? That depends what you mean. We must find Ciri, and then defeat the hunt. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. back. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. I shall scour the palace library for something, anything that might help us determine who or what the creature Skull saw is. Kaer Morin's got a pretty rich library. I shall search that later. Besides, we really should report to the Emperor. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Ciri had returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'll see you again soon. Take care of yourself. Thank you. 
Why the sweat not? Because if you get hit in the gut, you'll see the plan. Who are there with strange lungs? You're looking for work. Well, I'm so As the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novograd. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. in here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear you there. Two. Ooh, looky. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. for everyone. I'm not a thief. Looking for the sorceress who lived here. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid grove? Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. If you know where exactly, though... Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah. For a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, oh, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Small animals. Can't say I'm really interested. I know your trade. Spotted those yellow eyes amidst the rabble in the square right away. Did you notice how much common folk love flames? The eternal fire will consume them all one day, one way or another. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine and the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, 
You'll make a mistake is inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Discretionary Greeting. to benefit Redania or Albino. Exile Ooh, Albino. Uh. Hmm? Spend all night spanking balls. So tired you're positively pale. Damn it, I lost the way again. Arms for the poor. Take pity on me, misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Word is, nothing's free in Novigrad. Oh, no one come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this and I need to find that one who robbed me brother. Fuck if I know. Changed my mind, actually. Don't need a thing. Tourists. And her lad deals fist tech. Eternal fire protects us. Arms for the poor. You lame. No chance. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. There. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. In my mind, thorough addled. Been like this long, addled. Since me mother birthed me. Here's where it's addled. There. Showing you with me finger. See that? Me indicating. Healthy as a horse, as far as I can tell. Priests have looked, medics, herbalists. All claimed I'm bewildered. Well, they're wrong. That's little either way. Folk are generous to me. They enjoy watching me point. Like this. There. There. You're happy. That's what counts. I am. When folk ask me the way, I like that most. Because I can point. Like this. There. Ah. Oh. Because I know my way around the city. Oh, do I ever. So you gotta know where the putrid grove is, right? Most certainly do. It's where I live. Over the, uh, there. There. That way. That away. Meaning where? In lace halls. There's this alley. Past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course. Unless he forgets to say, the old sow's farrowed piglets might not let you in then. But that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's farrowed piglets. See? Thanks for your help. I was a war veteran. Spare me a crown. Cheated me. Bad the thieves. 
How can I be of service?
show me what you had. Killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. And right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know him. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Old sows, pharaoh piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Guard tolerate your little operation? Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought. But like is true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans, big plans, far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. Vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we've got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, Folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. 
this year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold... Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? frightened, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You can't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, clue. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heel. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Scum's a scum's a chum.
should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. There must be a lever on this wall that would open a secret passage. city of Nova. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Nui, thought they'd be safe from rat of its reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Menga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? But maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion.
Guess we don't have a choice. We have to get that parcel back. the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Right then, let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like. But rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting. But they killed my king. Look for crevices. And droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Not yet. Uh-huh. spot? I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city.
Geralt. This granary's cozy and all, but I'd still rather be somewhere else. every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, I'm going to talk. Well? Well? Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher. It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. We all lie sometimes, but lying to yourself is running away, whereas there's really nowhere to run. Sometimes you have to escape just to forget. Your friend might have dwelled on his lost legs, but it's not like by grieving he could have grown another pair. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Birds having themselves a little chat instead of working. The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Take my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Look, you can't ah! Get him from both! Oh! Oh! bastard hired me on the assumption he wouldn't have to pay me. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. F fine. Your coin. Now get. Thanks, Geralt.
You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri, And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. The truth is, we're all ready. Just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Stop. Go away! Don't do that. Leave it!
Please. Stop. Go away. Don't do it. Leave it. Spill it, please.
Is it is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Well, Witcher, what have you learned? More importantly, what have you resolved? Something or someone's playing hide-and-seek with me in there. Left signs showing where to go, what to do. I'll try to figure out what's going on, and who it is. Truth is, we're all ready to...